Hi, my dear Prof. Ed 104 students. How are you? I hope that everyone is safe wherever you are. And I hope also that you are doing great and you are coping with the new normal. Ana niniwala ako na kayang-kaya natin to hanggang sa dulo. Okay? Lagi ko yung sinasabi. This particular day, we are going to take or tackle the first chapter of our lesson or our course that is Understanding Diversity. It is a pre-recorded lecture prepared for all the students enrolled in Prof. Ed 104, Foundations of Special and Inclusive Education. For this particular chapter, our objectives would be, number one, discuss the meaning and significance of diversity, support diversity as a positive component of relationships, education, and organization. So our premise for today's lesson would be, no two individuals are exactly the same. I repeat, no two individuals are exactly the same. In Filipino, we're going to say, walang tao o dalawang taong parehong pareho ng sakto, no? Or hindi pwedeng ang dalawang tao ay saktong magkapareho. Malinaw yan. No two individuals are exactly the same. There are many factors that makes us different from the other person. Like, Physical characteristics, no? Physical characteristics would include the color of your skin, the color of the hair, shape of eyes, nose, height, weight, gender, age, socioeconomic class, occupation, and many others, no? So, there are no two individuals that have the same hair. Or, if, they're, if they have the same hair, maybe the shape of their eyes are not the same. So, they are not exactly the same no meron at meron silang pinagkaiba even the twins no even twins have distinct difference from each other no and another factor would be the invest invisible characteristics yung hindi natin nakikita pero nararamdaman mo or na observe mo like the way he the way he, he talks the way he gives opinion the way he reacts on things around no so the behavior, the decision making, or the decisions made, and the words spoken. So, this makes us different from the other person. Even our mannerisms, right? Okay? There are other people who scratch their nose, no? Who flips their hair a lot. And if you are not doing that, then you are not exactly the same with that person who is doing that. So, this physical characteristics and invisible characteristics and so on and so on would be the best factor that makes us different from the others. That is why in the premise it says no two individuals are exactly the same. That is why we are talking about today diversity. If we say diversity, pagkakaiba-iba in Filipino, pagkakaiba-iba, diverse, iba, iba't iba, iba sa iba. O kaiba sa iba. Not exactly the same. No? You are different from one another. Okay? So, if we say diversity, diverse. So, our community or our society is diverse. No? We have black people, white people, tall. We have tall, tall in height. Okay? Iba naman pandak. May mataba, may hindi. May, 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 Magaling magsalita, may hindi, no? May round face, may oblong, oblong ang face, ang shape ng face. May long hair, may short hair, black hair, red hair, okay? Kulot, may hindi. So, well diverse ang community natin. Even in a classroom, right? There, is no, there are no students or two individuals, two students that are exactly the same, no? That is why wala nga nagtatay, di ba? Walang, hindi pwedeng sa isang classroom, dalawang first honors. Why? Because at a point, there is always a difference between the two most intelligent students that you have. No? So maybe they are, uh, no, they are closely uh, the same on, on intelligence, pero on extracurricular activities or X factor, like pag-uugali, magkaiba sila. So nakakaangat pa rin yung isa. Okay? So let us define what is diversity. So diversity comes from the Latin word divertera, 
no? Which means to turn away, to separate or oppose. Turn away, lumayo. Separate, hiwalay. Oppose, kontrahin. So, wala talagang parehas, no? Hindi pwedeng magkaparehang magkapareho. Okay? From that from the meaning of that Latin word itself, we know that diversity means different from each other, no? So, Collins Dictionary defines diversity as the state or quality of being different or varied, a variety or assortment, a point of difference, the inclusion of people of different races, genders, religion in a group, the relation that holds between two entities when the only and only when they are not identical, the property of being numerically distinct. No? It's a state. Kalagayan ito, no? Of being different or varied. Ito yung ano, yung katotohanan na yung lagay natin bilang membro ng isang society or a member of the society means that we are different or varied from each other, no? And a variety or assortment. So, we are, since we are different from each other, kumbaga parang we were grouped, no? We were grouped. Yung medyo magkakalapit, sila yung magkakagrupo, like Filipinos, no? The Americans, the Koreans, no? Or even in the in our country, magkakalapit na distinction, magkakalapit na, magkakalapit na tawag natin doon, itsura or characteristics are grouped into a separate one. Like, the Kalanguyas are very distinct with their pronunciation, right? Okay. The Ifugaos are very distinct with their, the way they, the way they chew bitter nut, no? Okay. The way they dress, the way they talk, no? So, the, the Bicolanos, no? The way they talk, na, napakamalumanay. So, meron, meron isang characteristics na halos, halos pinag, pinagsasalubungan nila at they, they form a group, no? But they are still different from each other. No? And a point of the inclusion of people of different races, genders, re religion in a group. So, ver uh, diversity is inclusion. Okay? Yung pagsama, pagsanib natin sa grupo ng mga tao na mula sa iba't ibang lahi, iba't ibang gender, iba't ibang religion sa isang grupo. No? So, parang we we are a part of a certain group who has different characteristics coming from different genders, races, religions. That is diversity, no? Okay, so the relation that holds between two entities, okay, even husband and wife, two entities yan, hiwalay, no? So the wife has different is a different entity and the other one is different too. So wherever we look into it, everywhere we look into it, we are different from each other. We are living in a well-diverse community or society. And another one from UNESCO in 2017, they said that people's differences which may relate to their race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, language, culture, religion, mental and physical ability, class and immigration status. So for UNESCO, they said that diversity is defined as people's differences, pagkakaiba-iba ng mga tao, which relate with, okay, may kaugnayan sa race, the lahi, ethnicity, ethnicidad, gender, your gender preferences, your sexual orientation. Okay. Yung pagkakakilala mo sa sarili mo, are you gay? Are you woman? Okay. Are you queer? Etc. Etc. You are a boy, but you want to, you want to act as a girl, no? Or you can do both. Language, wika, no? So, people's, people are different from each other because of language, no? Even in the Philippines, we have a lot of languages, right? Every region has their own language. The culture, every region has their own culture. Every group has their own culture. Every country has their own culture. Religion, okay? We live with different beliefs, with different religion, and we have to respect that. Mental and physical ability, okay? So, we have different, we have different level of thinking, no? Of learning. We have different physical ability. Some are strong, some are not. Okay? Some are athletic, some are not. Some are fat, some are not. Okay? Class. Your class, 
no? kalagayan mo sa lipunan. Nakakataas ka, nakakababa yung iba. Okay? There are some who are rich, some are who are poor, some who are the poorest of the poor. Okay, your class, no? The immigration status also. Immigration status speaks speaks especially for countries who who have a lots of migrants, no? These are the products of war, etc., 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 and the countries that are ano that are accepting migrants in their country. So, in in some countries, no migrants are treated lower in class than the original citizen of the country, and we are we are saying that it's normal, it's normal, but it's not. Supposedly, it's not okay because we are living in a well diverse society. As I've been saying, it's normal that. We have migrants. It's normal that we have different, different, what do you call this? Religion, culture, language. Okay, that's it. So, I repeat, from the UNESCO, from UNESCO of 2017, diversity talks about people's differences. Pagkakaiba-iba ng mga tao. Okay, that's clear, huh? Now, let's talk about the ability and disability as dimension of diversity. If we talk about diversity, we always consider the word ability and disability because this too has a great role in identifying the level or what you call this one, the importance of diversity. So, what's the difference between ability and disability? Number one, ability refers to the possession of the qualities required to do something necessary, skill or competence or power. So, if you say ability, this is your power to do something at your range, you know, at your own competence. This is you possess these qualities to that is required to do to you to do something, you no? Know? Kakayahan ito, quality. Kakayahan, abilidad mo na gawin ang lahat ng gusto mo because you are capable of doing it. While if you say disability according to the World Health Organization umbrella term for impairments Activity limitations and participation restrictions referring to the negative aspects of the interaction between an individual and that individual's contextual factor. So, according to WHO, if we say disability, it is a term to it is a term to it is a term for impairment. No, if it's impairment, kakulangan, kakulangan like in the physical, kakulangan ng bahagi ng katawan or kakayahan. No, activity limitations because if you are impaired, you are limited, limited in all the activities that you wanna do. Participation restrictions, so you are restricted in participating for any activities. No, and it sometimes define how diversity works. No, because although we are living in a diverse society, no, we always feel that the the People with ability are given the opportunity compared to those with disability. No? Okay. Now, let us remember that a person's self identity and his perspective of the world around him are affected by both ability and disability. Okay. Self identity, we talk about self identity. How are you going to identify yourself? Are you going to identify yourself as a person with ability or disability? So it depends upon on how you are going to treat that certain disability of yours. No, example: those who have no complete fit, yung complete na fit, no, like yung isa lang ang gumagana. So if you treat that as your disability, then it will become your disability. But if you treat that as an ability, then that will become your advantage. Okay. However. There are some also who who are not impaired. Yung mga sabi natin may ability that acts like they are they are disabled. No, they can even they can even work. No, so in this case, those people with disability are more what you call this one normal than those who are able. No, so your self identity depends on how you perceive yourself. Paano mo tinitingnan ang sarili mo? Are you a person with ability? Or hanggang doon lang, kaya mo pero hindi mo ginagawa. So, it's still, you are impaired. Kasi, hindi mo naman ginagawa. Compared to that person with disability, but looks into that normal process and then will always say that, oh, kaya ko to. I can do it. I'm normal. 
If you think that you are normal and you have no disability at all, then you are normal. But if you think that you have disability, then you have disability. So remember that the person's identity is affected on how you are going to look into that ability and disability. So it's up to you to know. It's up to you to embrace it. No, you embrace it yourself. Another thing to remember: disabilities may affect one's senses or one's mobility. Okay, that's true. Disabilities like if you have hearing impairment or wala isang kamay mo, walang hindi ka makakita. So it affects your senses, no, and your mobility. The way you, the way you, the way you deal with with the activities, no, your mobility, the way you move. The way those you do things, no, they may be static or progressive, congenital or acquired, formal, or functional, visible, or visible or invisible. So, may sometimes these impairments or disabilities are progressive, no. Habang lumalaki ka, lalo siyang lumalala, no. Some are acquired, okay, acquired since birth, no, and some are visible and invisible. So, if you say visible. Your body parts, no. If it's invisible, the way you, the way you, the way you think, no. Okay, the way you treat things, no. So these disabilities will affect the way how you, how you deal with things, no. And and it's not a joke. No? It's something that we have to, I know, we have to talk about, no. Okay. So remember again that. The person's self-identity is affected by both ability and disability. So, important yung pagkakakilala mo sa sarili mo, no? And another thing is, disability may. Okay, the word may, ha? Maaaring hindi at maaaring maapektuhan. So, it's up to you. Okay? May affect, but it may not. Okay? It depends on how you you take that disabil disability of yours to make it your ability to make it your advantage i remember the first i know the first female pilot who is who has no hands and who has no who has no feet no but she became a pilot she took that disability as the advantage that is why she was favored and then she did it no she was given a special training and then she became, she became a pilot no so in that case disabilities did not affect at all no okay that's it another thing to remember the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds and of different genders sexual orientation etc etc so uh diversity is the practice or quality of including or involving people so if we talk about diversity we include all types of people regardless of their social and ethnic background, regardless of their gender, their sexual orientation, etc., etc. So in our class, like if you have 45 students, never, never, never exclude someone because he does not pass or she does not pass your standard. So there is no standard of becoming of becoming a part of a society or a part of community for as long as you are functioning well you are functioning normally even as I, as I have said even if you are if you are disabled but you are functioning normally then you are normal because that is the way you perceive yourself so if we say diversity it's a practice gawa into or the quality of including or involving people okay especially if we are teachers we include and we we involve people in everything in, in everything possible so that they will feel that they belong no regardless of whoever they are their background etc 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 so that is diversity so remember that okay the practice it is a practice or quality of including and involving people okay another one another thing to remember Diversity is the concept, uh, the concept of diversity encompasses acceptance and respect. It means understanding that, and um, it means understanding that each individual is unique and recognizing our individual. Okay, so this is very important point that I want you to remember. So the concept of diversity encompasses acceptance and respect. Acceptance, pagtanggap, respect, respeto. So we should know how to accept people and respect their flaws their disabilities no 
or their ability. We should know how to respect them, to, to, to take them in in our, in our life, in our group, no? So, there are, there are some instances where when a certain, you know, a certain society do not accept gay people, no? Or they do not accept uh, same-sex marriage like that, no? But, again, I would like to reiterate that diversity means acceptance and respect. And it means also that it is an understanding of individu that individual is unique. You are unique. You are different. You, you have that advantage. You have that quality that, that we cannot see. We cannot find from the other person. You are unique in, in, any, in what you call this one, in the smallest ways. You are unique. No? There are times when we are no, when we... What they call this one? We degrade ourselves. And then we'll say, wag na akong sumali kasi hindi naman ako madunong, hindi naman ako maganda, etc., etc. But always remember that diversity talks to you about being unique and about recognizing your individual person. Recognizing that you are this one, you are this person, you are unique. And if you start to recognize that you are unique and you are your own person, you start to accept, you start to respect your own flaws, your own ability and disabilities. And if you start it within, then you can now accept or respect or recognize the individual, the other people, okay? You can accept the flaws of others. You can respect the abilities and disabilities of others. This is very important that we should know our boundaries, but we should also know how to Sometimes bridge, I uh, build bridges to connect with other people, and it will only happen if we remember that diversity encompasses acceptance and respect. Hindi ka nakakalamang actually, okay? So wag mong isiping nakakalamang ka kasi pag inisip nating nakakalamang tayo, there's a tendency that ano we discriminate people. That is the start of discrimination actually. If you think that oh you are better than the other, okay? Now. If you are the type of person who who always looks lowly about yourself or think lowly about yourself, then maybe it's time for you to embrace yourself also because you are an individual and you, you are an individual who is very unique. And you, you must recognize that you are your own person. Okay? That's clear. So remember, uh, these two keywords is acceptance, respect. And then, you are unique and you are an individual. Iba ka sa kanila. Kasi nga, walang taong magkaparehas. There are no two individuals that are exactly the same. So, never compare yourself to anyone. If you start comparing yourself, that's the time that you feel down. Kasi, bakit siya maganda? Bakit siya maputi? Bakit siya matangkad? Bakit siya madunong? Ang galing-galing magsalita. Bakit ako? Diba? Then, that's the start. That will start. That will start your, ano, your self depreciation, and that is so bad. So you start to, ano, you start to score yourself. You start to score yourself as, as an individual who is unique and as an individual who is your own person, and that that's it. Okay. Now, what is now the dilemma of diversity? If it's a dilemma, ano ngayon yung challenge, no? Ano naging mali? If you say that diversity is is putting putting all individuals together in a certain group, okay, accepting and respecting each individual differences, okay, its individual's uniqueness, then what went wrong? Anong naging mali ngayon sa pinag-uusapan nating diversity or pagkakaiba-iba? When in fact, the foundation of diversity is acceptance and respect. So if we respect and accept each and every one of members of the group or the society, then there should be no dilemma. But how come na meron pa ring dilemma sa pinag-uusapan nating pagkakaiba-iba? So simple lang ang, ang ano ko dyan, sagot ko. The main problem in diversity is, is still discrimination. We are fan of discriminating others, especially if we feel that we are superior compared to them. It is still happens even in the household, especially if you have a member of the family who is disabled. Sometimes, 
in in some families that disabled person is treated very special but in other in other families that that individual is treated not a special one and the parents treats their children in different levels and i guess that's discrimination in the school in the school okay those those who are higher in achievements or scholastic records or or educational attainment are treated better than those who are at the low ranks that is discrimination no if you know the boss and if you know the boss malapit ka sa kalan pag hindi ka malapit sa kalan hindi ka papakinggan that is discrimination okay the gays the people who are who who are who belong to the third third gender no third sex they are treated differently there are some countries who do not who still do not accept same sex marriage like philippines and sometimes our olds or those who are religious would judge these people that they are ano masama no they are bad people when in fact we are free we are free to we are free for as long as we recognize ourselves that this is us the uniqueness of ourselves no and then in some areas also sometimes muslims are being discriminated no okay muslims are being discriminated whether we like it or not Okay, sa Manila, limbawa, sinabi mong taga Mindanao ka, oh, medyo, medyo natatakot sila sa iyo because maybe naririnig natin sa balita na medyo ang 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 mga Muslim ganito ganito ganito. But that should not be because I have said diversity is embracing each and everyone with respect and acceptance, no? So, racial discrimination or simply discrimination is something that uh we have to work on. Okay, lalabanan natin ito. So, there was one time in 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 Twitter where in uh naging trending yung hashtag na ano na stop Asian hate because it is started because the western the western countries to the western no the US, Europe. I know they're discriminating Asians, no. They they always ano treat Asians as ano as inferior compared to them, no? Why? Because of the color of their ano balat, because they are richer. But that should not be, because every country has uniqueness. Every individual person or race has uniqueness, no? So these white people should not discriminate the black ones. So even in their countries, they they always, you know, practice what they call racial discrimination. So the black Americans were treated badly by the white Americans, especially in the olden days, no? Even the Philippines, no? We 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 experience that. We always experience that. If you are from the barrio. And then you go to university, you are being discriminated. No, there are some instances also in in our history that women are being discriminated. They are not given the high ranks in offices because they are just women. Okay, and in a, in a family, they always want to have a son first because they believe that a son is better than a daughter. So that is discrimination. Okay, racial discrimination. The bigger countries will discriminate the smaller countries, okay? Thinking that they are better than the others, no? Especially in especially the West Western countries, they are easily discriminating the Asian countries, okay? So discrimination will remain as the problem, especially if we if we start it with our own self, no? So if we discriminate people, it's because of our poor judgment. And then it will always, you know, it will always result to bullying. Keep on bullying that person. Why? Because he or she did not surpass your expectation, and that is very wrong of us. Again, remember, I always go back to the core of diversity, which states that diversity encompasses acceptance and respect. So there is no need to discriminate people. If we keep on doing discrimination, if we keep on discriminating other people, then we would end up in a chaos world, no? Walang pag-uunawaan because every person would what? Would fight for her identity or his identity. The more that you discriminate the person, the more that that she will ano, he will insist of who he is. The more siya sabi mong Indian siya, bobo siya, the more na lalabanan ka niya kasi hindi totoo 'yun. 
Okay? So, that discrimination will lead to nothing but chaos. Okay? So, what's the keyword now for diversity? How are we going to treat diversity so that it will, ano, it will apply at our advantage? It will, it will work at our advantage. Remember that diversity is a very good concept, no? Because everyone is in, everyone is accepted, every, everyone is respected, even if you are able or disabled, no? Even if you are different from the others, still diversity would, would open the door for us to be accepted and respected by the other. However, it is not happening in real life because in some parts or yeah, in some cases, you always feel discriminated, no? And that is, I know, that is the that is the negative thoughts about diversity. Now, what is the keyword now that you have to use if we talk about diversity? Okay, we have here the assertiveness, self-assertion, expressing oneself confidently and forcefully. If we say self-assertion in Filipino, we call paggigiit, pagpupumilit mo, ipakilala ang sarili mo. So. Self-assertion starts with self-identification or self-identity. You identify yourself as like this, like, what is your gender preference? No? Okay. Pag sinasabi mo na, ikaw ay bakla ka. Okay? Okay, that word. So, you assert, igiit mo na ikaw ito. Irespeto ka nila kasi ikaw ito. No? So, it's not because that you are gay that they will discriminate you. No? But, because you are gay and then, you, you are asserting it, you are accepting it yourself, then they have to respect that you are gay. That's it. Your color is black, your color is brown, you are morena. That is why many Filipinos are using glutathione because they want to become whiter. No? Kasi sabi nila, we are being bullied if our color is morena. But don't you know that even the whites want to become morena? No? So, your self-assertion, paggigiit mo sa sarili mo na ikaw ay Pilipino ka. No? Ikaw ay maganda ka. Ikaw ay mahalaga ka. Ganun. Pag gigiit sa sarili. So, there were times when during the, ano, during the Spanish regime in the Philippines were in, every identity or the identity of the Filipinos has been changed. Super changed. No? It started with our language. No? So, the native tongue of, their, of our forefathers was, was replaced with, with what? Spanish. Our belief. Yung paniniwala natin sa mga anito na palitan ng paniniwala sa Diyos na ipinakilala nila sa atin. Even our literature, yung mga pangunahin nating ano, mga pangunahin nating mga pangunahin nating tauhan sa sa ating panitikan ay napalitan din. It's been changed, no? Okay. My example here is Maria Makiling. Maria Makiling is a native Filipina, no? She's staying in the ano, in the bundok. So, mountains, forest, and then blessing the people. So, parang siya ang guardian sa forest. And then, here comes the Spanish. Pinalitan nila ang identidad ni Maria Makiling. So, naging ano na siya. Naging fairy na siya. Naging maputi na siya. Kulot ang buhok at matangkad. Okay? And glowing. Okay. And then, ang ginawa na niya, nagpaparusa na siya. ba? So, they have changed our identity. Then, time came that the Filipinos became assertive, wherein sinasabi nila na, we are this group, we are Filipinos, and this is our identity. We have to get back our own identity na winala nila sa atin. That is what we call self-assertion. You identify yourself, give yourself your own identity, and then you you assert it. Ipilit mo na ikaw yon, Hanggang matanggap ka nila. Okay? Like, in a certain group, no? May isang walang paa, halimbawa, but wants to join the swimming. Okay? So, ipipilit niya yung sarili niya. Sasabihin niyang kaya niya until such time natanggap na siya. Did you get it? And then, you express yourself confidently. If you look into yourself and then you accept yourself that you are you, then you have to, ano, you have to express confidently that I am this person, I am this individual, unique person. Okay? And then, if you assert your own identity, then you have to speak yourself. No? Ipaglaban mo yung identidad mo. Filipino ako, hindi ako Indio, hindi ako bobo, at hindi ako kailanman papatalo sa kahit sinong dayuhan. That's it. You speak yourself. And then, you, maybe you start by saying, what's my name? Where should I be? What is my purpose in this world? Maybe you start by then. 
and then you you try to you you try to accept your own identity and if he so flaws if you see the flaws kahinaan mo you try to embrace it remember respect and acceptance is the core of diversity no so you speak yourself no so there are times there are times when we sometimes we lose our voice we lose our voice and then we cannot speak we cannot even assert on what we want hindi natin ipaglaban yung karapatan natin why there are many factors but this time if you believe that acceptance and respect is the core of diversity then you have to speak yourself but speaking about yourself or asserting your own identity should be always at the right time the right words the right timing and the right timing is very important okay and be serious in expressing your own self okay so again if we accept ourselves our flaws and we identify give give ourselves the identity and then we assert it then we have to speak about it so that people will start to embrace us as we are and respect us and accept us and if that happens you have to learn how to accept also other people and respect other people did you get it okay as ending for this lesson i would like to quote this i know this part of the speech of uh, the member of BTS, this Kim Nam Joon, in the United Nations General Assembly. Okay, so yeah, they went there. Actually, this year is their third year, no? So three years ago, uh, BTS, especially this leader, their leader, Kim Nam, Joon, Kim Nam Joon, stood at the United Nations General Assembly and then spoke about diversity, about accepting your own self, about, about giving your yourself a name okay about hearing your listening to your own name to your own calling and then he said at the last part no matter who you are where you're from your skin color your gender identity speak yourself okay so no matter who you are how do you i know how do you identify yourself so no matter who you are where you're from your skin color your self gender identity Okay, gagamitin natin dito yung term na wala akong pake, wala akong pake. Just speak yourself. Accept yourself, embrace yourself, respect yourself so that others will accept and respect you also. Speak yourself, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, your skin color, gender identity, your religion, your race, okay, your physical disability or ability, you speak yourself, you accept yourself. And that is diversity. Okay, so... We always belong to a group. So what is important is we have to maintain what you call the core of the core of diversity that is respect and acceptance. So I I expect each and every one of you to practice this one, especially if you become teachers, actual teachers in a group of students or in. You have to learn to respect and accept individual differences of these students that you have if you do that then at least you are you will be doing great in the future so uh, show them also model model them on how to accept on I, I on how to understand the uniqueness of each and everyone and do not look into the flaws of the person but look into that advantage that she has and that will that will be the turning point of your acceptance and your respect if you do not respect the person then you do not accept that same through it if you do not accept your your person your own self then you do not accept yourself so you have to respect yourself accept yourself okay so no matter who you are where you're from your skin color your gender identity your race your religion your mental ability your physical ability you speak yourself accept yourself respect yourself okay so for your activity it is at the the last part okay of your lecture that i have sent you can turn in your activity in the google classroom because i have uploaded the part where you are going to you turn in turn in your activities okay so i hope that today you have learned to accept and respect your own identity you learn to accept and respect the identity or the, the uniqueness of your neighbor your classmate your friend 
so that you will not become a judgmental per type of person. Okay? You embrace yourself ngayon na. Okay? Once again, thank you so much. This has been as Ma'am Astrid saying dito sa ating classroom, lahat ay matututo kahit magkakalayo. Maraming salamat. Mag-ingat kayo.